Hello everyone, Baku here, and today's video is gonna be different from the usual. This time, it's just gonna be a fun video. I think. So for today, I'm about to tell you what your Torum main says about you. Warning, this is a little personal, so if you're an onion skin, click off now. Cuz oh boy, you are not safe. Starting off strong with archers or bow mains. You guys are overrated. Like, we get it. Your CF is OP. So stop looking down on people. Yes, you're maybe the strongest DPS. But that's back then, not anymore. These people are so obsessed with high damage that their definition of DPS is not damage per second, but damage per screenshot. Well, I'ma stop there. I don't want to trigger 90% of the player base. What did he say? <laughs> You've probably had enough of the mainstream glass cannon DPS builds. Or probably, just because you suck at dodging, so you've used a shield. Or maybe you just really like the typical warrior class. You're so basic. I betcha your favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla. And your name is probably Zack. Zack on D's nuts. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> You guys are old, ancient. Boomer, this is the type of build that your grandma would use if she would play the game. Staff shield? Seriously? Have you heard of MD sub? It boosts your damage and gives you buffs and debuffs. These players only need three buttons, the MP charge button, maximizer button, and the finale button. These are also the type of player who will build pure M attack. In Dex, of course. They are also the type who's rocking those dyes, mostly pink or purple. You know, to really feel that magician energy. You've proven me right. <laughs> ah, look at you. Thinking you have all the power in the world. Thinking you could trick me. I've fallen for your illusion. How disappointing. So, you're gonna longingly gaze at me. <laughs> It's either you just like the class, or you're a weeb, but I think we already know the reason. You guys are a huge weeb. Bet you haven't touched grass since you've played this game. We know it. You have the power of god and enemy on your side. You're very into the samurai culture that you'll solo every mobs in the game and be the next Hiven. Well, good luck on that. But before you do, please step outside and touch some grass. I swear, these people are the most braindead players I've ever seen. If those staff shield players only need three buttons, these guys, they only need one. The thing is, they just so hunt their way through until the boss dies. And it's so annoying cause it works every time. Halberd mains, it's either you're the most wholesome person, or the most toxic one. No in between. These guys are very obsessed with fast kills and attacker rank that if you don't fast kill the boss, or someone else got the attacker rank, they immediately leave the party, or straight up disband without notice. What a fat head. <laughs> These guys were once one of the most wholesome mains in the game. Them and MD mains are just sitting in their own bubble, not caring about the meta. And then tier 5 got released. And oh boy. How the tables have turned. Suddenly, Falgans went from the mediocre class to the ultimate DPS class. After being shafted by bows for many years, they finally get a taste of power that bow mains once had, and they have become the very thing they swore to hate. They became the new most generic class that everyone used. No, no you're not. In fact, you've just become one recently, and I know the exact date. But seriously, MD mains are a hidden gem in this game. You definitely deserve the buffs. You guys are so precious. Hurting you is the least thing I want to do. But it's still in the list. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of suffering. Knuckle mains are the most wholesome and the most chill players I knew, even though a Sabimo clearly hates them. Hello Crusher Tier 4 and they always get unfair treatment, they're still pretty chill about it. It's not that they don't care, it's cause they're tired complaining about it. People will tell you that your main sucks and you won't say anything about it, cause you know it's true. Oh my god, he does it from, oh my god. You know what's better than a single sword? 
Yes, Two Swords Baby. Oh boy, here we are, the Kirito Wannabes. There's only two types of DS players I can classify. It's either you're very OP, or you're pure dog garbage. There's no in between. If they have OP damage, they're probably rich. Scan them. Steal their collection of Luxons and PCR, please. Officer, right there. FBI, Come on, in, go! These guys are nerd, a huge nerd. If those staff shields are boomers, then these players are the savvy zoomers. They are the kind of players who know every game mechanics. Even those unnecessary things. For them, you must know everything. While we're sleeping, these players are studying the law of proration, attack and crit relativity. They wanted to share it to others, but no one cares cause everyone just obliterates the boss in two seconds. People who main tanks tends to be the nicest person that you'll ever come across to. But not all of them though, cause some of them are very toxic. But nonetheless, most of you guys are the biggest chad I swear. The way you can easily join a party infuriates the hell out of me. Man, you can be the next Kirito the way you be pulling those parties. Although finding a party for you might be very easy, finding a good party with a strong DPS isn't. So, break a leg. No, seriously, break a leg. So, that is all folks. I know I didn't cover every class. Cause them, there's a lot of them. But I might consider making another like this in the future. Also, please excuse the new editing style. I'm just experimenting, you know. Also this, this creature right here, don't mind me. Actually, no, please do mind. Let me know if you like this style and this creature right here. Okay, enough chit chat. Thanks for watching. Like if you like the video and subscribe for more content. This is Baku and I'm eating out.